Hi, it is I, Vamp, and today we just on PS4 and Xbox One we received Fortuna Part 2, also known as Fortuna the Profit Taker, and the update 24.2. Point nine. We received actually quite a bit of goodies. Let's actually look at what's new first. Baruch, Baruch, the newest frame. We can just we can see that with our eyes right now. Take down the profit taker. New creature, new floofs. The three new creatures, so three new floofs to go with it. Now. Since it technically took Prime Axis, um, yes, Mesa Prime Axis is still here. Nothing had changed with that except for, instead of making a separate video, I figured I'd just add it in this video in between the content, which is that, um, you know, um, Mag and Nova Prime are back in the vault. Don't worry if you collect the relics, you'll still have them. They just won't drop in the game anymore. But there had been a n two other frames unvaulted, and that is Blast. Okay. <clears throat> Nova. No, not Nova. <laughs> Ember and Cross have been unvaulted. So, yes. Chuck Boy and Lava Girl. Yeah, okay. Well, D Market, if you're watching this video, sorry, I stole your joke. Okay, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> but yeah, those have been unvaulted, so now you will find those within the game, you will actually find it. Now we are just going to do a quick rundown because of some of this, you know, just the highlights. We don't have forever to look at all of them. The new arc, wing mods, pretty cool. I mean, if you like our arc wing, I feel like with this, uh, it might convince some people to maybe do some arc wing related stuff. So that's pretty cool. Let's see, we got the helmet charger mods, operator, new operator amps, new operator arcanes, of course the new Warframe, Baruch, but you know, new K-Drive mods, but you know, let's actually click on the X button and see what we have in the game, shall we? Yeah, we shall, we shall. Oh, look at that. There's Brook, there's Tubero, there's a wolf and rip arc weapons. There's, um, Little Duck. Little Duck? Yeah, Little Duck. He's probably my favorite NPC from Fortuna. Don't tell anyone that. But, yeah. Okay, and we are going to keep on continuing here. Yeah. This, this is going to be... Yeah. Huh. I don't know why I said, uh-huh, like I'm super surprised because this is the typical Warframe loading screen. And yes, I didn't claim my login rewards from yesterday. I wasn't playing Warframe, oddly enough. Um, but I should be in the stream tonight Operator, with that TV splash screen. Success, success, success. Now, <clears throat> I did get a message, and I guess that is a good way to show you guys because you know full disclosure don't i hide anything from you guys i'm a warframe partner so you know i got day one access so i guess we can go over some of the stuff that's in this update 
the of course brood collection um we'll get into that in the more in depth but basically you'll get brood brood's weapon you know we're gonna go to the market with that i'll show you guys in the market um a weapon and we don't gotta go through all of the little detail just note that i you know full disclosure and all i read a reveal oh i forgot about the alternate helmet i read the review uh reveal rather too much per se than too little you know i just want to let you guys know what's up technically wait fortuna scene i don't have this scene yet i was going to say i already have this scene but it's the orb ballast scene i already have and the sea death scene oh okay that's interesting i didn't even know those came with the update but yeah those are a thing but yeah as you saw we also have weapons and why is everything oh yeah because the acolytes are still here there should be a card up there somewhere but yeah there are the acolyte weapons that they will go on sale but this is Baruch collection includes Baruch his alternate helmet, his signed honor, his signature melee weapon. Yes, the Coburn Karain is a melee weapon. His, oh, Kubro armor. Kubro armor, huh? Of course, if you buy his collection, it will also include a Baruch Madala. I don't really know what that is. Um, Feather Booster and Affinity Booster. If you just buy Baruch by himself, which you can buy by himself, you know, that, that you can also buy the Kubo armor by itself, which is interesting. Okay, okay, so that's what it looks like on the Kubo. I mean, it's not the worst, that's for sure. I don't think it's the worst anyway. Yeah, we'll have to see it on my Cooper, probably in the future. I don't even remember what my Cooper... Wait a minute, wait a minute, guys. Wait a minute. And then the Nidus's art helmet. I'm showing Nidus's because I was hoping it would show it in open form, but it didn't. No, so I might do a separate video showing that off, but there is, okay, there is technically a reason for me to do this, okay? I'm going to be getting something out. Yeah, remove from stasis. Okay, there's a reason I'm getting something out, though, okay? I know, I know, you're like, hey, this video is made longer well i actually need to see something it's very important like super important like so much so important i don't even know what this is oh this is the skin i have equipped okay okay i guess he can't I'll be honest, I want to see if you could put the Baruch. Oh, you can. Okay, here we go. Baruch armor on the, you know, yeah. Now, I think it's clipping a little bit. Not entirely sure, but hey, it works. It fits on there. Um, I'll admit, looks a little... Bit odd. That's probably because of the fact that I have the collar on him. Wait. Huh. Okay. You know what? I'm keeping that there. It was from Christmas. They never took it away from us. I like it. And you know, let's do a couple color randomizers so we can. Okay, you know what? I like that. I like that. I like that. Okay, that's good. 
Now, speaking of helmet charger, no, I didn't waste a bunch of time because we are going to go into mods and... Oh yeah, I just realized I don't think I got those mods actually. But it doesn't matter. I can still talk about them. Which is the fact that the helmet, helmet charger has mods. Yeah. Um, it's, you know, the helmet charger mod set. Yeah. That is something that does, in fact, exist now. Of course, like I said, I can't exactly show you them because I don't have them yet, but that's what the codex is for, is it not? It should be in the codex. Uh, let's see, mods. Mod codex, don't fail me now. Okay, let's see, S-T-R-A-I-N, S-T-R, because it, they are actually called the Strain Collection, so here we go, okay. See, okay, so the initial effects are hidden because of the fact that I don't have them yet, but, you know, that is by design. I just want to show you guys of their existence and that they do have a set bonus and all that stuff. So with that said, I think we covered just about everything. Stay tuned for future videos, in which case I will cover, you know, oh wait, no, one more thing. One more thing. I completely forgot very important detail like super super important and that is an appearance we are going to go to where is it here yeah when I go to here um yeah um, hmm I'll find it eventually guys I'm real bad at finding stuff okay I was in the wrong area. Okay. Hairstyle. Here we go. There are new hairstyles for the operator. Like, I believe this is a new hairstyle. Unfortunately, we can't exactly rotate. I don't know if that's a bug or not. Or maybe it's because I don't own it. No. I think it's a bug. So yeah, unfortunately, you won't be able to do a full rotation right now on console. I don't know if you can on PC. I guess it's a little bit of a bug, but you know, that is what it is. Um, we can still sort of look at them. Okay, we will look at them, don't worry, but for your guys' benefit right now, I am going to take the blood sigil, bloodshed sigil off the operator. So, he doesn't look all bloody. You guys don't have to put up with that if you guys don't. Okay, so. Um, let's see, did this, what? Well, I believe these were already here. I'll be honest, it's kind of hard to not do, try to do a rotation thing. This looks pretty cool, honestly, from what I can tell. Um, ooh, these are the, you can tell the new one. They have totally different, looks like hair physics than the rest. It looks like they have the more, you know, Lucy goosey type do thing. I don't know what else to call it, you know. More wild, you know. More take a ride on the wild side type dude. That is an interesting do. I don't like it one bit. Okay. 
No, this isn't bad. Like I said, it's kind of hard to see without a full rotation view, but I feel like that will be fixed in the future. Either that or I'm doing something extremely wrong. Okay, let's see. Okay, I was trying something. Okay, so yeah, that is it as well. We got new operator here. Yes, amp six x six x six x. Yeah. Okay. So with that said, I think actually, you know what? I think we should take a look at Fortuna real quick. But don't worry, I'm not going to make you guys stay with me through the whole thing. Um, we are going to take a look at Fortuna. Okay, and through the magic of editing, we are at Fortuna. Now, I'm going to tell you guys, hey, I didn't even remember I had him equal. Okay, anyway, I'm going to tell you guys right now that if you guys don't want like any i guess spoiler at all per se definitely you know feel free to turn out for this part or you know skip ahead a little bit but yeah this is my first time talking to them after yeah okay it's next to impossible for ticket to get families out of fortuna or smuggle in supplies. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. The mothers are a product of corpus breakthrough is using salvaged sentient technology. Additional weapons are ineffective against them. The command and control systems have thus far proven impenetrable. Okay. Questions? Ah, no. Okay. Let's do profit taker. Okay, so these are the bounties. I've been told that the first time you do the bounties you have to do them in order you know you'll have to do all of these bounties in order the very first time you do them but i've been told after you do them the first time you can do them in any order you want and that the season the bounties does give you um, Solaris United standing. It's also worth noting that in order to actually get those bounties, have access to those bounties in that back room there, you have to talk to her and have the standing of old mate. Yeah, so you'll have to be an old mate in order to access this stuff in the back room. I know what you're thinking, but bam, I can just go in the back room anytime I want. Well, trust me, you'll have to be old mate in order to, you know, do here. Her, I'm just checking to see if Lodoc had any new stuff. Okay, wait, wait, I mean, in theory, she should have... She should have the new amps, right? Mm, amp assembly... Okay, so she had... Oh, okay, so she has all the amps on CDS and I'm assuming the new amps as well. I, yeah, these amps, CDS, and then new amps as well. Okay, okay. Scaffold, okay, okay. Okay, that's, that's actually interesting. I didn't know she had both CDS and not this stuff. Okay, okay, let's that is very cool. Together. And let's see if she also has any more outfits. Authentically handcrafted by a colorful local. Okay. 
So she had the new arcane. She has a lot of stuff now. Remember when she had like nothing, nothing? Not anymore. Now she has all the um, arcane. She has, oh, so she has brute parts. Okay, so this is interesting, guys. I know you guys are like, damn, this video is going on forever. But this is interesting because now you can get brute from here with standing you don't have to um just ing him but at the same time you have to be hand to get him which is three and if i recall correctly he's still only a step um Okay, so yeah. Okay, well, anyway, this has been just an overview. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to, you know, press the, um, you know, bell icon for future video notifications. I make videos regularly on here today. It's an exciting day because it's the Warframe update for console, PS4, Xbox One. Let's, let's kill some spiders. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the new frame as well. Later.